Hey guys, yesterday I posted a video about Gcam, installing Gcam on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. Uh, there you will find a lot of settings that I have explained on how to install and what are the settings that you need to tweak before you start clicking any pictures. So in this video I am going to show you the front camera from the Gcam itself. A lot of people said that the HDR-ish plus kind of thing that you'll get while you're capturing with the portrait mode but that's not the case because there will be two pictures if you just go to the gallery and open the pictures there when you have taken with the G cam on the portrait mode you'll find two pictures one with the HDR setting and you can even disable that HDR and there is another picture with actual portrait mode everything is working properly also one thing I would like to mention about this slow motion video so using Gcam you cannot shoot slow motion because that doesn't make any sense because slow motion doesn't need any extra processing all it does is reduce the frame rates I mean increase the frame rates in order to give that slow uh, kind of feeling for you so that's why use just default for capturing slow motion videos but other than that pretty much uh, every feature is properly working on the Gcam so in this video I'm going to show you the portrait mode how to capture it and what are the settings you need to change so let's look at it so guys this is the portrait mode as you can see right now we are in default camera this is not the G cam so first we'll capture portrait mode with the default cam and you can also use AI camera here so that it detects portrait for you as you can see it is recognizing my face pretty clearly for some weird reason it sees a lot of leaves here and suggests that there is a leaf in the picture anyways so this is with the photo this is with the portrait let's uh, switch to the G cam right now quickly you have to clear the camera by going to recent then launch this G cam make sure you remember that so let's switch to portrait which is the selfie camera right now we are in live as you can see there is the camera here what I have set is more settings here again you have to go to photo advanced and here you just disable this HDR plus control if the remove zoom is enabled you can also disable it uh, the thing is here you need to change the resampling method to riser this works very well for the portrait selfie camera uh, and also front camera resolution as you can see I have set to 4 is to 3 13.2 megapixel so once we have done that I'll just go ahead and click a picture so this is the picture that came out as you can see quickly you will see some kind of HDR ish but once you actually wait a couple of seconds and you will see the actual portrait mode which is really nice it doesn't overdo later you can edit the blur settings and all so there is also portrait here again this is with the portrait just like I said there will be two images which is really important now you will see why and what I am trying to say so processing HDR plus after that you will find this icon just tap on this icon and you should be able to see two images this is kind of uh, HDR ish uh, without blur effect yet it is very good looking image once you swipe here you will find actual portrait mode where the background is very well blurred as you can see it recognized my face very well and this is the image you will get so this is the portrait mode the camera mode there is also lens blur again it works for flowers and all that kind of stuff but still it works in a great way so as you saw these are the modes you need to change before clicking any portrait shots from your camera all right don't forget to click on that subscribe button hit that like button so see you all in another one till then take care everyone bye bye